want to make a video application where you can record and play it back like this Well, watch this tutorial. Welcome to Nige App Tutorials. My name's Nigel. This tutorial is going to show you how to build a video app. This tutorial will be based on a lot of the concepts from the previous how to create a camera app using Intense. So if I go too quickly on this tutorial, you may want to look at that tutorial series first. Let's make a start, shall we? Okay, let's create a new project. I call it Video App. I'm still using 5.0, I do need to upgrade my Nexus. I'm going to use a blank activity, don't need all the extra fluff. I'll just add video app in front of this. And finish. Now let's just wait for it to build. Okay, the project's now completed its build. It's put me into the layout, into the XML file. I'm the very first thing I want to do here is visualize what the application is going to look like. So I'll do that from inside the layouts and basically I want to have my application is going to have a record button to record a video, a play button to play back what I recorded and it needs a video view just to display the recording. So I'm going to go into design here Okay, I'll just resize my ID. Okay, I don't need the text view that comes with the Hello World text view. I can delete that. First step is to add two buttons. And just drag and drop them. First one's here. I want to drag that to the bottom here. I want another button. And I'll drag and drop that here. And I also want a video view to sit on top of the buttons. So let's see if I can find the video view. Here's a video view. Again, drag that into the display and resize it so it sits on top of the buttons. Because if we go into text, you'll see it's a relative layer. So you can adjust views relative to each other on top, underneath, to the right of, to the left of. That's what the relative layout gives us. Okay, I'm happy with that, but I do need to rename my button so I know which button to press. So this button here, I'm going to want to call record. So let's find the text for that. I also want to change the ID to give it a bit more of a context. So I just want to call it the record. button. Okay, that's okay for me. I'll say yes to that. I want to update all the references to that ID. Okay, the next step here is just to do the same for button 2. And I want to give button 2 an ID of play button. And I want to change the text to this play. Okay, I am now happy with the look and feel of what my application is going to look like. If we pop into the text tab, we'll see, yes, we've got the two button views and our video view. And you can see how relative views can align with the parents and you can also align like the video view to sit on top of one of the buttons and it's also centering horizontal so hopefully the video view is going to sit in the middle okay so i'm now happy with that 
The next step I want to do is this start um, setting click functionality to my buttons. In the previous um, camera app tutorial, we used the on click functionality that was provided to us by the button view. Um, there's also an a number of other methods to add on click listener as well. And so I'm going to show you another method of how we do that. So we go into the code. So I go into the on create function where all the initialization happens. Oh, let me just go into my uh, activity class first. I am going to need to create some variables for my buttons and for my video view. So first, let me do the buttons. And I'll create two variables for play and for the record and play button. So the first one, I'll just say um, record view. And another one will be in play view. Okay, let's make it private. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing again here for the video view. I think I'll just call this in video view. So I'm happy with those buttons. Now I want to create, uh, I want to initialize um, my views from the layout, from the views from the layout. So I'm just do that down here. Do record view first. And we'll initialize our record view with the button from the uh, layout. You have to cast it first. So it's going to be record button. And we'll do the same thing for the play button. button and let's initialize our uh, video view as well and again we need to cast that Okay, I've now initialized my um, views. Next step is I want to create that on-click functionality to my record button and my play button. And to do that, we can add what's called a on-click listener object and assign that, set that up with our view. And you can do that with any view. So we'll say set on click listener. Now we create a new on click listener object here. We'll do the wonderful magic of Android Studio. It's already populated the um, function for me. Now let's do the same for the play button as well. Okay, so we've now created our on-click listeners. So our buttons are now going to respond to key presses. The next step is let's start working on our record button. Our record button's just going to call an external application that can record video. So, and we're going to use the exact same methodology that we used in the camera intent video app, camera intent. Um, application. So first thing here, we want to create intent. What should I call this intent? Um, call video app. And 
create a new intent. Create a new attempt. As with the camera app, we're going to actually have to provide it an action. So any video application that can play video will uh, be able to respond to our intent. So. And again, we're going to use the media store. And it's going to be, the name of the action is going to be called Action Video Capture. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about this action. So if we search for this via Google... And here in the media store, in the developer's library, we click on that. And basically, it says it's a standard intent, intent action that can be sent to have a camera application capture a video for you. So that's what I want. I want a application that can capture video to record a video for it and send it back to my application. Back to the code. Okay, so I've got my intent here. It's just a simple matter of starting an activity that will call our camera application. So, start. We're going to use start activity for result. In other words, once we've called the camera application and it's finished capturing our video, we want that um, application to return back to us. Start activity for result. We pass it our intent that we've just created. And we need a request code which we haven't yet created. So we'll create that create request code. It's going to be another variable. Request code is an int. And I'll call it activity start camera app. and assign it a value of zero and we'll put that into our start activity request and that's it for the um, for recording our video okay now the next step here is once the video is being kept and returned back to our application, we need to capture the response and an on activity result function. So let's put that in there. And the first one is our request code. Second is going to be the result code, whether or not the um, whether or not the request was successful. And the third one's going to be an intent returned back to us that's going to contain the location of the video that was captured. That will be an intent. We can call it data. Okay, so first thing first is we just put a bit of um, filtering code to make sure we are getting a successful result and our request code back. So if we Request code equals activity start camera app and if result code 
equals result. Okay. We will then process what's happened. And we're not assigning it, we're comparing it. Okay. So the next step here is to actually inside the intent data argument we have that that will provide us with the URI of the location of the video image that was captured by the video application. So we need to create a URI variable. So let's say video URI and from here we can use the data get data function. So this get data function is actually going to return to us the URI of where the video was captured and after that it's just a simple matter of assigning that URI to our actual video view. So set video URI, pretty self-explanatory, and we pass it the URI that we just set up. Okay, that's now happened. So once we've captured the video, we want to start playing the video. So we need to call that, and the place where we're going to call that is going to be from the play button. So if we go back up to the play button, Okay, I made a little boo-boo. The code that goes into the uh, record, I've put into the play. So we're just going to move that few lines of code and put it into record. And then we'll do the play properly. So from lines 41 to 44, we just need to cut and paste. go up to here and just paste below so our so we've now fixed our record button let's go into the play button and add the code that actually will play the video so we need to end video view and it's just a matter of calling start just a quick Check on the right hand side to see if you've got any red bars for any errors. This looks okay. Okay, so this looks okay. Let's try running the application and see what happens. As usual, I'm going to record that. So the application's now started. This is, what it, this is what it looks like. So we'll press the record button. We've started up a camera application. I'm just going to switch it. And I'm just going to video a wall. enough except that okay applications now it's gone back to our application let's click play and see what happens and we are now playing back the video that we recorded and that's it that's what we wanted our application to do okay as with the normal flow of these tutorials we're gonna debug we're gonna set up some breakpoints and step through the lines of code to actually see what we've done. Okay, so I want to set up one in the on create. That's where we created our variables. So I'll put one here. I want to put in one in the on requ activity request. So we see what happens with the request, request whether we're successful or not. 
and I also want to put some with our view on click listeners. Let's put one on here for the record. We'll put one on here for the view. And that should be it. That's enough breakpoints. So we click on the debug button. And before the application fully initializes and turns on, we've already hit our first breakpoint in the on create. Let's step through that. So we assign our record view button with the view from the layout. Same for the play button. And the video view, we assign it with the video view from the layout. Now we create our on click listeners for the uh, record button and the play button. And that's it, let's continue on. My application's now started, and now I can start operating my application. First step is to record. And I've hit another breakpoint here. And the first one is the record button here. We know our on-click listener is working okay. So we create our intent. We give it an action to call an external video application. Then we start that application. And continue on. So the video application we've called has responded and has started. So we can press the record button and record a war. Stop that, accept that. And I've hit another breakpoint. Application is no longer running. We're in our on activity result. So applications return back to us. So we can step through the code. The first part is, let's check to see if it's our request. It is. Okay, from there we can actually get the location of the uh, where the video has been saved to via the uh, URI. And, and then we just assign, once we've got the URI, we can just assign that URI to the video view. Okay, and now we've gone back to um, our application. So nothing's going to happen yet until I press play. And as soon as I press play, we've gone back into our on-click listener here, which is the for the play button. So nothing's going to happen until I hold my shaky hand for you to see and press go again. And we can see a bit of movement of a picture, of a video, of a wall. And that is it. So, what we learnt in this tutorial is we learnt there's alternative ways of creating click events to listen to views when a user presses on them. Um, we also used learnt a new um, intent action that allows us to call external video applications. We got introduced to URIs and how you can load a URI, uh, create a URI and assign that to a video view. And then once you've got a video view, you just have to call play on it to play that content. And so that's all for this tutorial. Most of this tutorial was based on the previous tutorial, the camera application using intents but I wanted to go through this one at a bit of a faster pace and it's just a bit of a refresher of what we learned in that past video tutorial series. If you like these tutorials don't forget to subscribe and I do have uh, a big list in my mind of future content to publish as well. That's all for this one. Bye for now. And take a photo of the cup of greens here again. And we have the actual image itself. Effectively, nothing's changed from the previous tutorial, except what I expect to see here 
is this bit, this bitmap image greatly reduced so we're not taking up too much RAM in the system everything happy with our phone okay we can stop recording now